Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm Kelly Thomas, the Crochet Profit Queen, and I'm going to show you how you can make a living from your crochet while avoiding the burnout and being able to make what you want and when you want. Have you signed up to the Crochet Business School newsletter yet? Don't forget to do that now at crochetbusinessschool.com forward slash subscribe and get tips and free resources straight to your inbox. Looking back at 2023. So as we get to the new year, it's a great time to reflect on everything that's happened in the previous year so that you can go forward and plan and make changes for 2024. A year is a long time, and what you thought was going to happen at the beginning of the year may bear absolutely no resemblance to what actually happened. And actually taking time to sit down and kind of look back can help us to avoid making mistakes again. It can help us change our plans for the future. And it's just a really helpful exercise to see just how far you've come because when we are buried so deep, head deep in our businesses, it's we sometimes forget to remember and look at what we've actually achieved because building a business can be slow. You know, if you're building this crochet business around family, around a full-time job, around other commitments, Progress can feel very, very slow and it can feel that you're moving at a glacial pace. But actually, if you sit down and look back at the beginning of the year, you can realize just how far you've come and that can really help give you the motivation to keep on going, to realize that you are getting somewhere and that you are so much closer to reaching your goals than maybe you thought you were. I mean, when I look back at this year, it's been an absolute roller coaster from start to finish. What I thought I'd be doing in 2023 is completely different to what I actually did. I found the other day my list of what I expected to do each month going forward. And I actually had a a pattern release written down for every single month. And not a single one of those happened. (laughs) Things went very, very wrong in January for me. Um, I've mentioned this a few times before, I think, but things went badly wrong here at home and it took me quite a long time to dig my way out of that, which of course had a massive impact on my business as well. My pattern business got ignored for a very long time. My planned crochet along did not happen. I missed 2023s completely because I just couldn't do it. And my plans for Crochet Business School also took a bit of a turn because for a while I couldn't concentrate properly. I kept this podcast going by some absolute miracle. And that is my biggest achievement is keeping this podcast going and not giving up as it was very tempting to do at a few points. But otherwise things have not turned out the way I planned. And for a lot of the year I've ended up winging it. So next year for 2024, I don't want want to be winging it. I want to be following a proper plan and so I can build on what I've already got. My biggest plans revolve around my membership. I want my Hookers Academy membership, which is where I show you how to write, profit and sell your crochet patterns. I really want to build on that because that is what I love doing. I'm going to continue this podcast, of course. This isn't going anywhere. And I'm actually planning my episodes for the year now. I'm also going to go back and clean up my content. I've got classes and courses that are out there that I want to promote more and that I want to add to to make them better value than they are already. I want to clean up the content that I already have. So for me, 2024 is about using what I've already got and making the most out of that. 
Some of it was created during this bad time at home, so it is not at its best. And if you've already bought any of those from me, don't worry, you will have access to the new versions because it needs sorting out. I want to get everything nicely tidied up so that it represents where I want my brand to be going forward. Having that plan in place is going to help me know what I'm doing. So I'm not sitting there wondering, what should I do now? I already know. And I want to do that because of what happened in 2023. What happened this year is dictating what I do next year. And that's why having this look back can be so helpful. You can see what went right, you can see what went wrong, and you can make your plans accordingly. Because you don't want to be making the same mistakes, you don't want to be wasting your time. So if you have discovered that something didn't work for you, it's a good idea to sit down and ask why. And if you can figure out why it didn't work for you, you can either go back and try try again and fix those errors, whatever they were, or you can say, well, it didn't work. I don't know why. I don't particularly want to try again, so I'm going to wash my hands of it and we won't be doing that again. You can take stock and decide what direction you go now. Having a plan and keeping yourself organized is One, it's going to help you not waste time and be productive as you can with the time that you have. It can help you plan ahead so that you can make the most of the marketing window and promotion. And it also means looking at your finances to see what you made. Did you reach your targets? And... What does that mean for your profits next year? How are you going to make the money that you need to make? I already have an idea of that because I know what I made in 2023. I know where it came from. I know how easy or difficult it was to do that. And I know what I want to do to make the profit I need in 2024. But I've got to get into the detail, and that's where planning comes in. I'll talk about that in a different episode. But you can take your achievements and your failures from 2023 and decide if they are going to carry over to 2024, if you are going to continue with things that haven't gone quite right, if you are going to, what you are going to change because you certainly don't want to leave it as it is. If something's not not come quite right, decide, is it still going to go ahead with changes or are you going to drop it? If something's gone right, well, absolutely do more of that. But does that need changes as well? I mean, just because something has gone well doesn't mean that you can't improve it and make it even better and work even more for you the next year. But here's something to think about. If you feel something has gone well, did it really? Because we have this strange thing. If we get, especially with social media, if we get lots of interaction about a particular set of posts, about a product or a blog or something that you did, we can feel that that did really well. But when you look at how much profit that made, maybe it didn't make as much as you thought. And at the end of the day, as a business, you need to link engagement on social media with the profits it made. Good engagement is great, but if it's not making the money, what's the point? So if write down what you think went well, and then look at how much money it actually made you. If it didn't make you that much money, it didn't actually go as well as you thought. But then the reverse is true. Something that you uh, feel went badly on social media, but actually made you a lot of money, 
well, that, that actually went really well. So you also need to find out where your profits came from to find out how you made them. And that's not always obvious, strangely. It, it can be a bit strange how this works. So that's why having this reflection is so valuable. Because when you reflect, you can then make a plan going forward. So I would highly encourage you to sit down and do this exercise. Look at where your money came from and look at how you promoted that thing. Where did the sales come from? Did they come from your newsletter? Did they come from social media? Did they come from YouTube, from Pinterest, from being found on Google? Find out where it came from for certain. And you should be able to track it back. And that is a highly useful thing to do. And actually what you should be doing is making notes of that as you go. So you're not trying to figure this all out and untangle it right at the end of the year. But, you know, we're human. We're not always that organized. But having that information is really good for being able to plan ahead. So have a look back at your 2023. How did it go? Did you make the profit that you hoped? Did you get all the projects done that you wanted to do? Did something derail you so that, that which prevented you from doing so? Knowing these things and having them written down is going to help you have a proper understanding of how your year went. And that can have a real impact on how 2024 will go for you. Well, I hope that's given you some things to think about. And if you'd like to ask any questions or share what you think about your 2023, come over to our Facebook community. The link is in the show notes. I'd really love to hear from you. So thank you for listening. And I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.